Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to unbox and review this Angui L20 electric bike. So, this thing has a 48 volt architecture. It's a 750 watts of power with the peak power of 960 watts. Goes up to 25 miles an hour and has 90 miles, up to 90 miles of range, which is pretty crazy. 20 inch fat tires for all terrain. So, this thing is a pretty cool bike. So here's everything that comes with the box, starting with the charger, it is 100 to 240 volts, that's the plug right there, and you know, this plugs in, good to go, we get some tools, we get the fender, we get this metal um, basket, I, I don't know what to call this part, but this is a front piece where you could load stuff on there, you get the pedals, you get the saddle, super comfortable, super cushiony, seat post, and then to remove the battery, because this is, battery's right behind, you just pull, push this thing up, essentially, and then again, boom. And instruction manual. For the controls, we have our front disc brakes and our rear disc brakes. We have our bell. You hold this to power it on for two or three seconds or so. It goes on. We have a battery indicator. We have our speedometer currently in kilometers an hour. You could change this to the imperial units, miles per hour, basically. I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. So it passes the pedal assist. So currently it's at zero, which means no assist. And you could press plus to take it all the way up to five, which is super assist, which strains the battery, but it makes it go really, really uh, easily. It, it's almost effortless. And then, you know, bring it back down to whatever you want to do. We have the trip right here. And if you hold this plus button, it turns on the lights and this screen dims a bit. And then if you hold it again, it turns off the lights. So the way you access the menu to change this is you hold plus and minus for a couple seconds. I should probably tighten this. Uh, so currently it's on P1, which is 48 volts, so don't touch this. Um, so P2, P3, P4 is the kilometers. So if I get to P4, I hit the power button just once. I press plus, takes me up to one. I could press plus again to go back down, or I could press minus to go back down. But one means miles per hour. So once I get here and I want to get out of this menu, I just hold this power button and then boom, I'm out of the menu and I'm on miles per hour. Then we have our gear selectors. So up, uh, well down and up. We have our throttle and we have, yep, just the brakes, there it is. Now in order to use the pedal assist feature, you do need the key. So you insert it, you turn it like that. And when it's like that, you can't remove the key. You could turn on the bike and use the pedal assist feature. And when you're done, you could take it off and you're good to go. Now, even without the key, you can ride this thing like a normal bike. So do keep that in mind. So, and, and also do keep in mind if you leave it somewhere unattended, someone in theory can come and steal it even without this key. 
Now, so really the key is to use the pedal assist feature basically. Now you can also remove the battery, you need the key for that as well. And you basically push this thing up as I showed you guys earlier. So this makes the saddle fold. You push in the key, spin it, and then you can take out the key if you want. And this thing just slides right out. And that's where you charge it from. So open that up when you're done, plug it back in. I mean, close it back in. And then when you're inserting it, there are essentially um, it this metal piece. So this this insert essentially needs to go on this metal piece. So you need to align it. And then once it's aligned, you put it down. You're good to go. And if you want to lock it in place, insert the key, spin it, and you're done. And you can't take it out anymore. You also can't take it out when it's in its on state. So just as a heads up and you're good. I took this thing out for a spin to get a better feel and ended up riding this thing a lot longer since it was very fun. Now here are some reasons why. Number one, the bike is very premium. There are no squeaks, weird noises. It genuinely feels like a solid bike, feels very good to ride. The saddle itself is comfortable, the shock helps with that, and the motor has ample power. Now, I did ride it in various scenarios from streets to sidewalks and a little bit of off-roading if you want to even call it that. It just really went over the grass a little bit here and there, so it wasn't really true off-roading. And that's because this is not a mountain bike, otherwise I would have actually taken it off-roading. So let's start with the pedal assist feature. At the lower end of the assist, it averages around 10 miles an hour or less without much effort on pedaling. So when you're pedaling, it really just feels like you're spinning your legs without much resistance there. So it's just kind of like fun to just rotate your legs. Um, there's really not much effort to do that. Now on assist level four, it averages around 18 or 19 miles an hour with the same feeling. Again, you're just really pedaling without much resistance there. And on assist five, you can easily get to around 23 plus miles an hour. So without assist, it does take some effort to pedal this bike because of the heavier weight and the fat tires. Now if you are wondering if the battery dies, you can ride it like a normal bike, but again, this thing will give you some exercise. Let's just put it that way. So with the assist feature, it makes it a breeze to go up the hills. It makes it feel like you're on a flat surface and really it's still effortless. However, there were one or two hills that I diff did have to down gear even though I was on assist level 5 to, for it to still be almost effortless. So I did have to put in a little bit of effort on some of these hills, but it wasn't too bad again as long as you down gear. So, and I could have done it without down gearing, but it would have taken more effort to do that. And really just to really fully test this because of the, it is an electric bike, that's why I kind of down geared in the first place. So what I'm trying to say is it's very doable. With that said, you can always lower pedal assist or turn it off if you want to get a workout and this bike can definitely give you a workout because of its heavier weight and the flat tire. For the downhills, the bike does exceed its maximum speed limit. I saw around 30 miles an hour, maybe even a little above that, but probably would have went even faster if I let it go faster. However, I did want to try the brakes at those speeds and they do feel very good, very linear feel, solid overall brakes. As far as comfort, whether I was on the sidewalk or the asphalt or even on the grass, the bike is very comfortable, the suspension works and the saddle is fairly soft, creating a smooth ride. So let's get to the throttle now so it can be used one of two ways number one you can use it to help you at the beginning meaning if you're at a dead stop and you're trying to pedal when you use it with the throttle it makes it much easier because without the throttle you need to rotate the pedals i'd say maybe two or three rotations and then the electric motor kicks in and helps you and becomes really really easy to pedal so if you don't even want to do that you can actually just hold the throttle and then start pedaling and it'll be easy all the way through even from a dead stop and number two, if you are wondering, can you use the throttle without pedaling at all? And the answer is yes. You can actually just ride it with the throttle, almost like a motorcycle in a sense. However, it doesn't go as fast, obviously. And, uh, but it does go fast enough. Uh, but this to me feels a bit weird because my feet are on the pedal and I'm not spinning. So it's, it's a bit weird because I'm on a bike. If I'm on a scooter, that feels natural. But on a bike, when my feet are on the pedal, Unless I'm going downhill, I kind of want to pedal. That's just my natural reaction. Uh, but if you do use the throttle, it will massively drain your battery, especially if you're going uphill. So do keep that in mind. 
So with that said, this bike is very premium. Possibly, possibly my favorite electric bike that I've tried. And I almost want to say this thing is kind of like the Tesla of electric bikes because I'm genuinely impressed with this power and comfort. And I do have a Tesla and it's awesome. So just as a heads up. So let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. Be sure to subscribe, share, and like this video if you guys enjoyed this. And thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.